Welcome back everybody, this is the fourth episode of our 737 World Series. Today we're going to be looking at the FMC Bay and the center screen bay here in the middle. Um, this is going to be made out of fiberglass, but in this video we will show you how we made the frame for the fiberglass. Um, and that's about it. Let's get straight into it. We'll explain more how this will be pulled together during the video. Okay, so we're gonna epoxy the uh, edges after we have cut them. Yes, you can see. We're gonna left, but yeah, left. this is the side wall, and this is the floor of the side wall. And just got the fiberglass installed, and we are now cutting it with the jigsaw. Yeah. Next yeah. edit, we're gonna cut off camera because it is minus 25 degrees outside. Yeah. So, and here we have the side walls cut and basically ready to install but not actually yet. yeah they are pretty fucking rigid they show on the side and then it's it's quite thin yes and then it, you can try to flex it and it doesn't really flex yeah it's quite hard yeah and it's only one layer yes usually you do like four layers or something but this is just one and the back wood yeah. and it's very strong all right, so we now have the power glass panels done, and this one and the one under it will go in the middle, and the two larger ones will go on the sides here. All, all of these um, and these are now part of the um, main instrument panel, so MIP uh, structure that will um, build upward, upwards, and then we will have a panel going this way on here uh, so we can all, all of the see we have some of the framing in here when we install the uh, electrical box in but let's get to it okay i have everything now prepared here we have the um, um, beams here this is five to two millimeters tall um, so it's the same as that and uh, we're gonna start is uh, putting screws through here, like four screws all around here, onto the pedal structure here. And then we're gonna add, attach this uh, on the side here and onto the electrical box here. Um, and also you can see this huge curve on this board here. So we'll just set it up with this this beam here. This, these are. 40 by 40 millimeter um, piece that I have cut with my table saw. So, um, so they are they are they are two by two, it's got 40 by 40 millimeter size, which is better for this. So I just got it squared up here, and now we're gonna just make a pretty little tall here, <laughs> just about there. See that it's all flush with the back here. And just see that it's gonna get all tight in, but we don't wanna go too deep so that we don't go through the wood or uh, do anything bad. we have all the uh, screws on the bottom so now it's pretty well you can't see it but it's gonna be straight on this way and then we're gonna do the top and back here all right now we have that that one in um, from the back side so drill the hole there and cut it pretty straight and I put another screw right in here uh, to the back and it's gonna pull everything together like that so it's gonna do that and 
Now that's in there. Pulled that pretty nicely. We're gonna add some screw in the center or, or in the middle here, but it's really good. We can see on this side the bottom has sealed pretty well, but the back has a little bit of a gap. But I think that is, uh, I think that's gonna be all fine. All right, so now we have that's all in there we i put some screws on this side one screw over there and another one down there and they together that is pretty nicely uh if you can see probably you can well now you actually can't but it is really crooked this should be like that but that's uh, just because I don't have anything on the front holding it. But it is now fastened on the bottom side and on the back end. Okay, I just came back and now we can see uh, we have all of these pieces. And so for starters, this is what we're gonna need. And what we're gonna do is this one goes down there, approximately like this. Uh, We'll line it up with that uh, board there, and then this one goes somewhere around here. And we remember to leave some space on top here because this is where the FMC will sit. Uh, and then these are the um, cover boards. So this one goes right there, and this one down here, uh, down here. Uh, we'll start with though is attaching um, this one on the side here, on the bottom here, and then up on the back, and then this one over here, and we line up, line up those edges there. All right, and now I got these drilled into here, and they can now be mounted over here. Now, some of you might be already thinking, like, looking at these, is I'm leaving these off the, like a little bit, I'm not uh, draining them flush. And why is that? Well, I could, uh, there's something wrong if I did that, but then potentially draining them too far. But it doesn't really matter if I leave them like this, because uh, the fiberglass right here will be bent over top of them, and the fiber fibers will sort of cover those and then when we sand and uh, paint and uh, do everything I don't think you will notice any screw things here. That's now, you can see this here, and it's starting to look very nice. So you see, it's a little bit, well, I don't know if you can see, but you can see in the corner, at least, it's a little bit off, but when you push it straight, it's gonna line up pretty nicely. And there's just that little bit warp there that needs to be, or that will uh, get away when we uh, start building um, more to the side here. But that's um, very nice looking already. And uh, now you can maybe better see why we have this here. So uh, maybe make a cut somewhere around there. 
and then we bend this and it will um, cover the corner, the seams, um, without um, any problem and it's gonna look better than if you did it in two pieces. So this is always what you should do when you are uh, laying fiberglass is get the corners from the same piece, not so that the corner is where the pieces change. Uh, the fiberglass uh, part, when we put that like that, better is when the whole assembly is complete, of course. We don't wanna do it now, for example. Um, you see it is, it's pretty nicely. These uh, 40 by 40 millimeter pieces back here, don't really matter what length they are, just make sure that we have enough clearance here for all the electronics and screens and everything. Okay, uh, you can see that I got cut that hole and I also got the hole on the other side on, on, uh, at the same time. Uh, I already fastened it with one screw from the electrical box side, so it's on the correct position. This is 75 millimeter, or this is 75 millimeter, and then this is the same as at the front, so 153 millimeters. Um, so with the back fastened, now we're gonna uh, go ahead and fashion these on. So the ones that I got at the same time. So I got to put that in there and then the back, uh, the bottom one uh, at the bottom. And then we have those uh, on here and here and here and here fastened. Then we can push the side uh, like all against here. Well, I can show it with one hand, but uh, so that this straightens out and then this one comes right next to the edge there and it sort of seals nicely in here and then that means that we have the first compartment done All right, and there we can see. Now this is, it's pretty nice, tidy this seam. Um, and now it's starting to look pretty, pretty nice and straight. Again, I don't think you can see it on the camera. I think the next one will be actually just the same on the other side. So I think we're gonna be time-lapsing that. I can control anything if I can just think carefully. I control my destiny. Up in my mind, I manifest it. Every morning, I wake up obsessed. And everything I do, I do the best. And deep within my mind, you know I'll always manifest it. All right, here you can see both of the FMC base are now complete, and uh, you can really well see here is the section for the. Uh, middle uh, screen and whatnot and here is where the truffle will be um, it's it's looking really nice really really like it and it's actually finally getting some um, structure to it this will be like this well no it's not gonna be like that but it's gonna be more like that all right so before I attach this panel and anything else uh, I'm gonna or I already did and I'm going to install some relays and specifically um, H-Bridge um, um, configuration. Look who we have here! Ooh, oh yeah! So the whole bridge is going to be installed on the motor over there and then we can run them to the electrical box. And instant the panel. Yeah. Oh, that's in there. And there it is. Goes into the electrical box. Right in there. 
into this 105 watt power supply and here's the power the electrical thing all right so now we have um, this one also um well it's not yet completely installed i have one screw here and this is gotta just make sure that it's flush here uh, since the panel that i cut here was a little bit um it wasn't wide enough i just uh, mounted the um, supports here 40 by 40 millimeters a little bit wider than the panel itself and that one um is gonna be then what makes the final width but you can see that it looks really nice and i have the access panel for the throttle here and um pedestal as well access through here and it's looking really nice it's now i'm um, getting straightened up when i uh, put this together so this is a really crooked here so we just push it in and it straightens the whole thing or well it gets better at least so i'm just gonna finish screwing those things on the side and then we'll move on to the next one which will actually be the pedal uh, encasing because we have to do that right now all right so before the pedals we still or i still added this top panel and here we will put the arduinos and sort of all the controller stuff all, all the electronics this is going to be behind the main instrument panel um, screens and all that and that's just kind of it as well as being a good place to put electronics it's also uh, made this thing very straight and very strong uh, like I mean, of course, this flex is still, it's not like fiberglass is not installed yet, but it's really good. Now, next episode, we were looking at the pedals uh, and more of the pedal encasing and maybe the wiring as well. Uh, we already have a lot of the metal cut here and we're going to be bending the metal and then bolting the metals to form the uh, case that runs over here. And that's going to be really, really cool. We already have a lot of experience doing that since we have similar uh, pedal casing on the uh, previous simulator. But it's going to be really exciting to get the pedals finally like wrapped up and all good. Um, so stay tuned for that. That is the next episode, I think, or the electronics. But we are getting really, really close to the first test flight of this, which will probably be when the pedals are done. The yoke needs to be just wired up to the Arduinos here. Uh, and, well, we already have the throttle, so we're ready to fly really soon. Just like on the bare bones, like yoke, throttle, pedals, and then just the screens laid out on in the front here, and maybe management panel screens just, just on there. But yeah, test flight is coming along very nicely. We'll do an update on that as well. But next episode, the pedals, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.